talking with the experts. In episode 558 with Daniel Gomez, discover wealth building principles, personal development tips and success strategies to unlock your financial potential. See, in business, we don't attract what we want. We attract who we are in business. Mm-hmm. And if you're of a poverty consciousness, if you're of a, of a bad skill set, you're going to attract that type of clientele that has a lower self-esteem, a lower self-image. So you got to put yourself in these rooms, these networking events where, hey, maybe it's 25 even $25. A lot of people don't go to networking events here in America because it's $25. Like, pay the darn $25 because it's a higher clientele and, and so on and so on. So... I, I think that, that I think that the, one of the hacks for me is really the higher you go in these networking groups and these and these people that you meet in business, you start to notice that the languages are different. And I think it's very important because this is this is key. If you take anything away from this amazing podcast with Rose and myself is change your language, change your life, change your language, change your business. Talking with the Experts. Welcome to Talking with the Experts. This is where we discuss great ideas to take your business to the next level. How do we know these ideas work? Well, it's because we're talking with business owners who are using these ideas. Business owners who have years of experience and expertise. All things business by business owners for business owners. And now, here is your host, Rose Davidson. Hello, welcome to Talking with the Experts. I'm your host, Rose Davidson from rosedavidson.com.au. Talking with the Experts is all about business by business owners for business owners. You can find it on all podcasting, streaming platforms and on YouTube. And today, it's my very great pleasure to introduce you to Daniel Gomez. Now, Daniel is going to be talking a little bit about his book and his um, his retreat and uh, his online uh, things that he has going on um, to do with the makings of a millionaire mind. Now, Daniel is uh, uh, he, he, he is an award-winning keynote speaker. He's a business coach. He's an executive coach. He's a corporate trainer and a podcaster of the year recipient. Wow, that's exciting. Daniel speaks and coaches at events all over the world. His passion is to elevate businesses and entrepreneurs to to achieve their full potential. He he has a coaching program um, and he has empowered his clients to achieve epic success through their personal and professional lives. Daniel, welcome to Talking with the Experts. It's such a pleasure to have you here. Rose, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited. I'll tell you what, I'm here and I'm ready to just deliver some value. And I'm just ready to have some fun with you too. So I'll tell you what, sometimes we take business too seriously and you can't take business too seriously sometimes <laughs> absolutely no i totally agree i mean uh, business you know has its peaks and troughs and but you know if you've got to take the good with the band is bad and sometimes you know i think taking the the good and and keeping that momentum going um can only make us a bit more profitable happier yes well and what i mean by that because you definitely want to take business serious because most businesses you know, go out of business within five years, over 90% of them. So you definitely want to take it serious. But sometimes we take it too serious where we get upset, we get angry, it affects our personal life, your health. And and you got to have fun in the process too, because the truth is this, is that business is, is forever evolving, forever changing. And you as a business owner, I see so many frustrations that happen that they – they are the lid for the business because they stopped growing. They, they, what worked here two or three years ago is not working today. What worked 10 years ago is definitely not working today. So you got to evolve in your thinking. You got to evolve in your own skill set. And the thing is, we get comfortable in our success sometimes in business when we do reach that level. And then next thing you know, the things that we were doing that got us there, we stopped doing those little things. And then we wonder why we're not successful anymore, why we're in the red instead of the black. So it's just... So many different perspectives to approach business, but I just always say, right, you got to continue to become the student every day. You got to be a student every day because once you think you know it all, that's when you start going backwards. Yeah, we cannot, we cannot all know everything about everything. We have to learn with, you know, life is perpetual learning process. And, you know, if you think you know everything about business, I think um, you've, you know, you've got the wrong idea about 
about what life is. That right. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I had to turn off the phone. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying that, um, you know, it's not right if we think we know everything because, you know, we can't, we can't possibly know everything about everything in business because, you know, it's, it's a perpetual learning curve. Yes. Well, well, the thing is, is myself, right? What qualifies Daniel Gomez inspires? Why should I even listen to Daniel Gomez about business? Well, the truth is this is I ran one of the top Chevrolet dealerships here in, in South Texas, and we had over a hundred employees and we took a business that was losing millions to making millions. And people said it was going to take years to do it. And we did it in months. And by the grace of God, we were able to do that. And, and there were so many different things that we had to tweak along the way because you can have process, you can have procedures, but the truth is this, you can have all the process and procedures that you want, but if you don't have the people, well, then it doesn't matter because the business ain't going anywhere without the people. And sometimes we put too, too much emphasis on the process and procedures and not enough in the people because it takes, a, it takes people to run the business. It takes a human being to answer the phone, to respond to an email, to communicate. And I think so many times in our generation now, a lot of these younger, just new business owners that are coming up, they want to automate everything. But at the end of the day, there there is going to have to be some business interaction at some point if you want to be successful. Now, I know people will say, well, you got Stripe, right? They don't even have a life person you talk to. Well, there's some exceptions to the rule, but really, you don't. most people don't fall in that category. If you're in business, you're in the people business also, Rose. Oh, absolutely. No, I totally agree. And, you know, for those of us who are solopreneurs, I think, um, you know, and, and quite often we wish that, you know, we could um, have people on our team. And, you know, finding that right combination and finding the right people to join you as your team is, you know, is really important. And, you know, the mindset of moving from a solopreneur into an entrepreneur where you have a team is quite um you know, can be quite challenging. Well, for me, so my journey is pretty unique. And, and the thing is, this is that when I had, I was in automotive, I had a hundred employees, like I mentioned. Well, when my wife was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2017, and I made the decision to leave that corporate American job and, and take care of my wife, because she went through a season of depression with her double mastectomy and just a battle that we were going through with her breast cancer. The idea came to me to start become a speaker, right? When I started my business, it wasn't, I wasn't doing anything fancy, but I was just a straight up motivational speaker. And wherever I could speak, I was throwing myself in there. And because my mindset was up here, right? Because I had the millionaire mind already to, to, to a degree, I, I made over six figures my first year and not even knowing what I was doing, right? In the speaking world was what I'm referring to. I understood business over here, but then I realized, wow, I'm succeeding because of the business ideas, concepts, the way I think here. So it, it naturally gravitated and brought me over here where our speaking business just kind of blew up because I already was thinking and had the thought process of a, of a business owner. And most people, they, they don't kill the employee mindset. And we did a, we, we can, we continue to do it year in and year out. We do a big training called kill the employee mindset because you have to kill the employee mindset. And then we took it a step further when the makings of a millionaire mind came out and really the next level of, I realized a lot of business owners, a lot of entrepreneurs were failing because they had the wrong relationship with money. And if you have a poor poverty consciousness, you're never going to attract the clients because at the end of the day is this, Rose, wouldn't you agree that at some point that client's going to turn into money because that client is going to pay you money through credit card, through some form or fashion check, however it may be. And at that, some, that, is gonna, that revenue becomes money. And if you have a problem with money, guess what? subconsciously you could be possibly deflecting that very customer that wants to work with you away because your thought process is this, right? You got to change your brain because you're saying, well, money's not important. Well, money's not everything. Well, no wonder your business is struggling. Quite true. I mean, you know, the money mindset and there are plenty of people out there that will tell you that if you have a, a lack mentality, you know, you will continue to attract lack and, you know, as long as you are have the mindset of uh, of creating wealth, I think you know wealth will find you in some shape or form. So you know what you're saying is quite true. And you know, but how do we go from that lack mentality or mindset to you know th that one of abundance? Well, the, I think the first thing you need to do is invest in a, in a mentor, a coach, and pay for somebody to guide you and show you the way. 
And everybody can start at some point, some level, but everybody wants free. And when you want free, it's a bad mindset to start. I myself, when, when I started my business and started growing Daniel Gomez Inspires, our, our speaking brand, I hired coaches and it I mean it's it was a stretch because I wasn't the average, right? Over 90% of people are not used to paying for their own growth. They mm -hmm. expect ATT to pay it. They expect corporation, whatever corporate entity they're working for to pay for it. And it's true in, in, in as an employee, but the hardest thing I think that one of the hardest things that a lot of these solopreneurs and entrepreneurs and business owners fight is they're not used to investing in themselves. And and I can tell you this because I used to stroke a check every single week for about right a quarter million dollars, half a million dollars for inventory for the dealership and for stuff we needed, whether it was running ads. But then when it came from my own money, you know, from writing a quarter million dollars to say a week, like nothing, right? A million dollars a month. Now I'm writing a $500 check or 500 bucks. I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, like you feel it. But you have to grow your capacity in business. And most people don't know how to grow their capacity in business. And the quickest way to accelerate from A to B to go from an employee to a, to, to, to a business owner is you got to hire a business coach to help you through those thought process. And then you're, because it's the language that we say, the language comes from what's inside of you. And if you don't have the right language, you can, you can I can easily spot somebody who doesn't know business or know what they're talking about by, by what they're speaking, right? If you really listen to the words of a person and you're intentional about it, you're going to be like, okay, this person knows their stuff. This person needs a lot of help. And the truth is you it's 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 always evolving go to the next level we just we've been blessed to have a very successful business going on 7 years january january will be 7 years that we've been in business and i said this right now to one of our one of my clients cuz we had a we we had a dinner meeting i said 7 years ago to this date today right now which is the 28th that we're doing this amazing episode with you 7 years ago i if you would have told me i was going to be a best selling author an international speaker, have a book publishing corporation for our business, I would have never believed it because that wasn't who I was. I was an employee in that moment. Yeah. And to yeah, see how far that. I've evolved, it's, it's been amazing. It's just been an amazing, but it's, it's, I've cried, I've invested and it's never ending, Rose. Yeah. It's, it's really important, you know, that as business owners that, you know, that we develop our personal, um, you know, habits, we, we are always into continuous learning because, you know, as we said earlier on, you, you can't know everything. And it's really important that we, you know, um, develop ourselves personally and, and then develop and develop our businesses along the way as well, because, and you're right, in investing in coaches and, and mentors and, and all of those things. Um, and, you know, it can only help you moving forward and, and and develop your business into something that's, you know, making the six and seven figures. Yes. Well, the, the thing is this, is that every level of business requires a higher thought process. And, and what happens is when we start going like here in America, there's networking events everywhere. I can't speak for the same in, in Europe and Australia, but I'm pretty sure there's networking events too where businesses, but if you keep going to the free ones, well, that's a level of thinking. There's a level of energy the law of vibration. It's a law, right? The same way me and you are not floating right now in the world, right? Because of the law of gravity. Well, this world, this universe that God created for us is built on laws and principles. So when the law of, of, of vibration is in effect, it's like whatever you vibrate at, that's what you're going to attract to yourself. See, in business, we don't attract what we want. We attract who we are in business. Mm -hmm. And if you're of a poverty consciousness, if you're of a of a bad skill set, you're going to attract that type of clientele that has a lower self-esteem, a lower self-image. So you got to put yourself in these rooms, these networking events where, hey, maybe it's 25, even $25. A lot of people don't go to networking events here in America because it's $25. Like pay the darn $25 because it's a higher clientele and, and so on and so on. So I, I think that the, I think that the, one of the hacks for me is really the higher you go in these networking groups and these and these people that you meet in business, you start to notice that the languages are different. And I think it's very important because this is this is key. If you take anything away from this amazing podcast with Rose and myself is change your language, change your life. Change your language, change your business. Because we bring no, totally out... Agree. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Daniel. It's, it's uh, you know, vibration and all of those things that, you know, that 
a lot of people don't believe in, but if they took the time to delve into it, they'd realise that you're right, the language isn't right for them and they're not using the right language that attracts to them the abundance that they are seeking. Yes, and and, and it's, it's, it's crucial because 90% of businesses are out of business within the first year and then the next 90% within five years. And we wonder, why is my business not growing? Why is my business failing? And it's because your thinking has to change. Your brain has to change. And that's a lot what I talk about in the makings of my inner mind. When you come to our, our live boot camp here in, in San Antonio, Texas, and it, it, it changes you because it changes your perspective of how you see business, of how you see money. And the bigger thing is how you see yourself. Because most important of all, the owner is the lid for that business, how he thinks, how he operates every day, right? His thinking creates his actions, create the results of the business. And if the owner's thinking doesn't change and expand to that millionaire mind level, you're never going to grow. And maybe you're saying, Daniel, I don't want to be a millionaire. Great. But wouldn't a hundred thousand dollars more in revenue a year help you? Wouldn't a quarter million dollars a year more help you in revenue? I don't think anybody out there wants to be in the red and you got to change that thought process. Yeah, I certainly don't want to be in the red and I certainly don't want to be, you know, earning a dollar a year uh, where, you know, some people, are, you know, even in with podcasting, you can earn money through podcasting, whether, you, you know, you're attracting sponsors or you're selling something, that, um, you know, a service or, you know, that you're doing outside of your podcast. It It's all to do with mindset. It's all to do with how you promote yourself. It's all, you know, there's a myriad of things that, that, uh, we can do to make things a lot better for us. And, you know, I'd like to ask you a little bit about, you know, in your book, um, the things about wealth and, and the prosperity principles, you know, would you like to share with us a little bit about, you know, what they might be? Yeah, for sure. I, and, you know, I think, I think one of the things is, is key is, is, is you have to really understand you reap what you sow. And, and what I mean by that is, is, is in business in money, one thing that I learned that has really allowed me to really succeed is, is you got to understand that you have to sow a financial seed for your business to prosper. And it goes back to the Carnegie's. It goes back to the Rockefellers here in America that for every dollar they made, they gave a dime, whether it's to a charity, to an orphanage, to a church, some type of cause that is, 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 is to for good for the world. And, and for me, I got in the habit for every dollar that I earn, I give a dime and, and even off the business. I mean, it's a principle that's key because if, if you don't think about this, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. You can be in Australia, America, in the UK, you can be in Africa. If there's no seeds sown for crops, there's no crops. There's no wheat. There's no corn. Would you agree or disagree? Absolutely. I mean, yeah, you've got to sow those seeds to, you know, yeah. whether it's in the garden or in business or or in anything that you're doing. If you don't sow those seeds and and share the wealth, you know, you're not going to get anything back. Yeah. So so my mindset is is I gladly give it with the with a cheerful heart. That, that's one of the main principles that that really that I do. And then another thing when it comes to money is is that when I get an invoice, right? I, I get an invoice and. And my goal is if I have the finances, I'm going to pay that invoice within a day or two, right? Mm -hmm. the, the, the average length of an invoice that stays in our business is, is no more than five days. I mean, we usually we pay them that quick, even though it says net 30, net 40, net 60, net nine. No, like I, I know what it's like when, when seven years ago, almost that I 500 bucks was a lot of money, right? Like, Hey, pay me. Cause I, I could use that. Because it's 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 just when you're young, you don't know anybody any better in business. You're just you're trying to make it from from month to month. And now that we have a revenue flow, now that we're bigger, it's like I remember that. So whatever vendor we use or services that we use, our employees, like they need to get paid Friday. We need to pay these invoices as soon as possible. And and when you because because when you honor the people, you honor the money that they need. And when you honor the money that they need, then God says. You get it now, right now, money isn't your master. You've mastered your money, but so many people, their business is struggling because they haven't mastered the money and the money is their is their master. And you wonder why you're broke. You wonder why you're in the red. And that's why you got to get a copy of our book. It's on audible, the makings of a millionaire mind. And it's on Amazon too. You can get a copy there. 
in paperback or in hard copy and so much wisdom that we shared there. And one thing that I really talk about is, is, is really your self image. Mm. You have to grow your self image because your net worth will never outgrow your self worth. Um, an interesting concept, Daniel. And then that a lot of us, you know, whether in personal life or in business life, we don't often think about our self worth. And, you know, we, think we're not worthy we think we're not enough you know we've got that that imposter syndrome thing that follows us around you know how can we change that around so that you know we are attracting that wealth well i, I think your self-worth a lot of people go through that because it's our environment that we grew up in and maybe we heard sayings like this when you were a kid is rose you're not good enough why can't you be more like your sister, Rose? Can't you do anything right, Rose? Right? You got your mom saying one thing. You got your dad saying the other thing. Or maybe I, I always use this because I hear this over and over by grown men. I mean, I mean, successful grown men and women, and they still remember the counselor saying, you're not Air Force material. You're not college material, Rose. And those words carry so much weight that soon as you start winning in life, soon as you start winning in business, that paradigm that's there that we talk about in the book, like that deeper paradigm, you start to self-sabotage. And most yeah. people don't even know what self-sabotage looks like. And, and you got to be aware of these things. And, and for me, I can tell you when I started my business, man, there was, there was some, I cried. I mean, when I say I cried in my book, I talk about me crying because I'm, I'm, I'm being authentic and real in the book. And I talk about me reading up a recycle bin. Imagine an American man, my, me, Daniel Gomez, is beating up a recycle bin because I was so frustrated just because of the old you is dying and the old you doesn't want to die. I, I want to give this, I want to give this, this analogy. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to think about this. I want you to think about the roses that you give your spouse. Are they alive or are they dead? And, and the truth is, the beautiful roses, they've been clipped from the rose bush, so they're dead. They're, they're cut off the source. But how is it, how is it, ladies and gentlemen, that that beautiful rose, that bouquet, it still has the power to bloom because the last part of life that that rose has in the stem and the leaves, it pushes so hard that after they bloom, that's usually when they kind of die to our eyes and they bend over because they're done, right? They just fall over. But there was still life in the rose stems and the roses leaves that gave it the power to bloom. Well, many times we have cut off the old us, the old Daniel, the old rose, and we're doing really good. But that last push of the old identity of who we were, that old rose, just it peaks. And then we see that in life, in us, and we'll be like, man, everything I'm doing must, must not be working. Mm -hmm. And then we revert, we revert back and we plug ourselves into that rose bush that we just cut ourselves off of. Because mm -hmm. we always run back to what we're familiar. And in business, when you get under pressure, when you get under stress, I talk about that in the book. Don't run back to what you're familiar with because that's what keeps you stuck in that vicious cycle of poverty, of bondage, and in the red. That's very interesting, Daniel. A great analogy. I like that about the rose bush. It's it's quite true. You know that once you've you've cut the the stem from the bush, I mean there is yes still power in the stem to you know uh, bring life to the rose. I guess you know if it's a rose bud and it blooms and it becomes you know a full blown rose, and then it just dies, and then we go back to the rose bush. We cut it off. And we start all over again. And yes, and you're right, we do go back to that familiarity. Um, and it's just a vicious cycle sometimes because we just keep going back to doing the same old, same old, rather than, um, you know, learning new new strategies, um, you know, finding new processes or procedures um, to make our business, you know, grow that just that little bit. Yeah. The, the truth is this, is that, it's going to take effort. And in the book, I use the word intentionality, right? You have to be intentional. 
You have to be intentional in growing yourself as a human being. You have to be intentional in a new way of thinking of your finances. And, and to go back to your question, like, right, how do we, how do we develop that? Well, first of all, it starts by reading a book, right? The book unlocks the belief system, but then it's the coaching where the transformation comes in. And and if you think about the word transform, right? It's 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 right. It's it's extending beyond oneself. When you transform, you extend beyond oneself. So you're gonna have to extend yourself. There's gonna be a little bit of pain there, but the beautiful thing is, once you extend yourself, be, be, be right before your current who you are right now, well, then the breakthrough comes. But so many times we try to do it by ourselves, and I can do this. Well, no, if you knew it, you wouldn't need help. You wouldn't need a community, and that's what I love about what we do here. At DG Enterprises, we have an amazing um, group coaching community where we really inspire and coach each other and help each other out. And and we hear the language, right? Because the thing is this, think about this. When you hang out with certain new acquaintances, new friends, you start saying, hey, dude, how you doing, girly? How you doing, chap? Whatever the, the saying is. And you're like, why am I saying that? But you hang around with somebody so long by osmosis, it becomes your language. And it's no different in business you try to do it by yourself or well, your language ain't going to change, but then you get around successful business owners like Daniel Gomez inspires that understand business was well, in your language is changing. And I've seen, I've seen it in, in, in amazing people in our community. Like Kevin Hernandez is just a new human being. We see businesses that were losing millions, right. To making millions. Then you see the businesses that were making millions and now they doubled their millions. They're like, wow, like this stuff really works. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's, absolutely. It's, one, it's, it's one thing when you do it, right. Um, by God's grace, we've been successful, but it, it, there's another level of just like, wow, like our customers, our clients are winning bigger because of what we're pouring into them. And, and it's just, it's just powerful to see that it's amazing. And it brings me joy. Yeah. Coach, coaching has, um has a lot of benefits, you know, and especially if you're starting out in business, I think, you know, finding that great coach or that great mentor is is really, really important where you can, um, you know, bounce ideas off someone else and they have a different perspective and, and they can see perhaps most times, most times the broader picture of, you know, what you're trying to achieve in your business um, because sometimes we do, we get a, a mindset where we, you know, just focused on the prize and not looking at the, the overall impact that what you're doing or what you're offering is going to have on the general public. Yes. Yes. It's just, um, you know, you said the word mentor and, and I don't like using the word mentor because a lot of times when people say the word mentor, they want a free mentor. You really have to make a financial investment because when people pay, they pay attention. When people pay more, they pay even more attention. And I've seen it over and over where you try to help somebody because out of the goodness of our heart, but they just don't take it seriously because what happens is, it's free and they don't value free. And in America, at least a lot of people don't, I can't speak for, 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 for same your here. Same is here. Oh. I, I had a, a free podcasting course uh, last year and, um, you know, people took advantage of my good nature and, and uh, you know, wanted everything for free just because the, the group program was free because it was a trial. Um, they expected more and more from me. And, you know, honestly, I could have made quite a lot of money out of that program if, if I had been a bit smarter. Yeah. And, 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 and you, you rose as the owner, you don't feel guilty for charging that. I think sometimes a lot of people that I coach, it's like they, 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 they struggle with what they want to charge and no, like, char <laughs> I just said this to a client of mine today, like, you're costing yourself money because you're holding you're holding on to that lower level client, and not that they're bad people, but you outgrew that client, and you're wondering why that next level that higher payday's not coming. It's not coming because you're hanging on to this ninety seven dollar a month guy over here that is going to cost you more money. So let it go. And and I shared a story of how one of my first clients seven almost seven years ago how she was amazing and she was paying me I think at the time like three hundred dollars a month when I first started. And it was great because it got me, got me practicing and I loved her and I was with her for probably like two years and, but it was a guaranteed $300 a month and I knew it. And at that time, the first year, that, that was a lot of money to me. Well, then it's like, it got to a point where like, she wasn't being receptive, right? She would show up, but she wasn't applying what we we're doing to the coaching. And I just said, 
once I cut her off, right, as a client, my right my rates went up from three hundred a month to a thousand a month, and then from a thousand a month to two thousand a month, and then from two thousand a month to three thousand a month, and it's just it's been going up ever since. Yeah, yeah, and that that's really true. I I have a, a friend who who coaches me um uh, for free, but you know I take on board a lot of the things that she says because um it's bettered my business by listening to her and you know and and me not taking advantage of her kindness is is you know quite good but you you're right about paying for what you receive because you will take more notice if you have to pay for the for the advice that you're given and 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 sometimes it better advice better business wisdom i mean i've had 100 employees if you never had 100 employees how are you going to know how to deal with that how are you going to know what how to deal with a brick and mortar situation if you've never been in a brick and mortar how are you going to know how to deal with, I mean, there's so much, there's, there's so much wisdom that someone can bring you like myself as a coach that when you work with me, I invite you to reach out to me, Daniel at Daniel Gomez speaker.com. Send me an email. I've had a hundred employees. I know what it takes to start a business from the ground up and make it a million dollar business. And I'm not just talking about, cause this is, this is another thing, right? And I really mean this, ladies and gentlemen, I want to invite you to connect with me at Daniel at Daniel Gomez speaker.com. Send me a subject line that says Rose Davidson, and I'm going to give you a complimentary coaching session. That's my gift to your audience. But, the, but what I'm trying to say is this is, is how, right? Think about this is that, is that you need somebody who's been where you want to be at. And if, if no one's, if you're, I believe every coach needs a coach. So first of all, whatever coach you hire, let them have a coach because I have a coach. I have two coaches, but because we're always evolving. But you can't expect somebody to take you sometimes to a higher level if maybe they've never experienced that. And mm -hmm. I've just, I've always believed in that. And just, that's what's helped. I've invested over half a million dollars in myself, Rose. Think about that. And and going back to what I was saying is sometimes people get caught up in the numbers of six, seven, eight figures. Great, great, great. But then they get upset when I ask them this second question. Great. I'm impressed. You're making six, seven figures. What's your bottom line profit? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm making three million, but I'm losing four million. Like you got to be aware of, of what the real numbers are, not the facade of what they want you to believe. Because I know many people that were making seven, eight figures, and they're losing money every month. Yeah, so you got to yeah. understand that. Yeah, that it, that you know, it's quite easy to say that I'm making this amount of money, but you know, actually, how much are you putting in your pocket and taking away from the business? And you know that that uh, is. Um, and they're keeping you standing and floating. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's. Now, now, if you want to reach out to Daniel, you can reach out to him um, at uh, danielgomezspeaker.com, the makings of a millionaire mind.com, danielgomezglobal.com. He's on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest. He's got his YouTube channel and he's also on Twitter. And he, uh, go and check him out on Amazon. And check out his book, Making Millionaire Mindset, Building Abundance. Um, honestly, yeah. he's just, he's absolutely everywhere. Check out Daniel. Thank you, Daniel, so much for that generous offer of, of a free coaching session for our listeners. Um, don't forget to put Rose Davidson in the, um, the subject line and Daniel will give you that free coaching session. Daniel, I would love to ask you if you've got some tip, hint, some tidbit that you'd like to share with our audience today. Tidbit, uh, well, I'll tell you what, I got a free PDF gift. They can text the word millionaire, just millionaire with no big letters, just millionaire by itself. Text the word millionaire to 210-942-5059, and we're going to send you an amazing PDF that you're going to print out and frame it. It's it's super high quality because we give these out at our Millionaire Mind Boot Camps, and it's a gift that we started giving out. So it's text the word millionaire, no emoji, no exclamation point at the end of it, just millionaire at to 210 210 Nine four two five zero five nine, and get your free PDF, and we want to bless your audience with that. That's that's, that's my free tidbit to that. For that, Daniel. Uh, one. Lovely. One. Thank you, Daniel. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for sharing your wisdom with us today, and I look forward to uh, talking with you sometime in the future. Well, Rose, thank you for having me, and ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being an amazing audience to me and Rose. Thank you. Bye bye for now. You've been listening to Talking with the Experts, hosted by Rose Davidson. 
make sure you have a look at our back catalogue over at talkingwiththeexperts.com. And be sure to subscribe to our podcast so you don't miss out on any episode. We look forward to your company next time.